Hi everybody, welcome back to Sunshine Soap and Candle Company. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you how to make a pH balance solid cleansing bar, otherwise known as a Syndet bar. Syndet stands for synthetic detergent. Now these solid cleansing bars are made mostly out of plant-based surfactants, usually comprised of some sort of coconut and other plant matter. Now these bars are very low pH. You cannot achieve that in a cold process soap. These solid cleansing bars are around a five or a 5.5 in the pH range, making them very gentle and easy on your skin. So they make great facial bars. Over the years, you have seen me formulate a few different Sendet bars, some shampoo style, some for your body and face. And today we're gonna to be doing one for the body and face, but this time I'm gonna be showing you how to make a Sendet bar using a melt and pour base, taking all the guesswork out of it for you. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how to put together this beautiful and gentle Sendet cleansing bar. And if you would like the full written recipe plus a full step-by-step -step tutorial and how to, please head on over to my Patreon campaign where you can unlock this formula at the $5 level. I'll go ahead and place the link to my campaign down in the description box below for you. There's so much to take advantage of just at the $5 level. You have access to over 400 posts. My campaign is four years strong at this point, so there are literally hundreds of recipes and tutorials for you to take advantage of. We have other four other tiers for you to take a look at and take advantage of if you like, each with their own unique benefit. And upon sign up, you get coupon codes to my favorite suppliers like makesy.com and onlinelabels.com, making your sign up very well worth it. All right, I hope you check it out. Let's make some beautiful Sendet bars. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and prepare our mold. So what that means is I'm just gonna go ahead and take some botanicals and place them down to the bottom of each cavity. This is just for um, visual aesthetics and a little bit of texture. So today I'm gonna be using some uh, marigold or dried calendula. I got this from brambleberry.com and this one will not turn brown like a lot of other botanicals. This one will not turn brown in your melt and pour soap. So it's a good one to use. Plus it just adds a nice little botanical kind of um, rustic beauty to it. Just a little bit here. All right, and then what I'm gonna do is set this aside. And then the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and weigh off our melt and pour base. Now, you guys have seen me use this base before as a shampoo. I have done a melt and pour shampoo. That's also available on my Patreon campaign using the same base. Uh, some people have found that this base is a little bit soft. Um, I don't have that problem with this base. I think it sets up nice and hard. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this up, what we need for this recipe, and weigh it off. And we're gonna be placing it into this lovely little beaker right here. So the base itself is a very um, opaque white. And when you melt it, you'll see that it goes completely clear, but it does set back up opaque like this. So something to consider when you're adding color is it's not gonna get very, very bright in color because you have a very a very opaque white base to this soap. So your colors are gonna come out a little bit more muted. And I'm gonna show you what we're doing for color here in just a minute. things about this base is it is the cosmetic base this comes from Stevenson personal care 
and it's called Cindapore. So that's the base that I'm using. You can use it for both shampoo and also send up facial and body bars. And it is soft when you cut it, but it hardens up after you melt it and re-pour it. So we're gonna go ahead and set this aside. I wanna get some of my other ingredients ready to go before we melt this down because I want everything to be ready to pour in shortly after we melt it down. So here is some of these really nice ingredients that I've decided to add just to enhance the overall skin loving benefits of this Sendet bar. You don't have to add anything to it at all. If you just wanted to melt it down and use it, melt it down, pour it, let it set up and use it, that would be perfectly fine as well. But we, since this base is able to take additives, I have decided to add in some really nice ingredients here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is weigh off some bee pollen powder. Bee pollen powder, this one came from Nature's Garden, and bee pollen powder is really packed full of vitamins and nutrients that your skin loves. And it's gonna provide a tiny bit of exfoliation to the skin. And it's also gonna provide a little bit of color. And then to this, we're gonna be adding in some turmeric infused apricot oil. I infused this oil myself with some turmeric and I do have a video that shows you how to infuse your turmeric oil. I'll go ahead and link that video below, um, but I'm also gonna be putting the step-by-step -step instructions on how to create your infusion in the Patreon campaign in this tutorial. Now, I'm almost, I've almost used up my infusion here and I have used this for lots of different projects, but today we're using it for a few reasons. So the turmeric infusion is gonna be really good for inflamed skin. Turmeric is known to help redden inflamed skin. And it's also gonna to help to impart some really nice natural color. A little bit goes a long way with your turmeric. And the reason I'm adding it to my bee pollen powder is because it's much easier to disperse the bee pollen powder into an oil. It doesn't, it helps to get all the clumps out. And it makes it so that it's much easier to distribute into your formula when everything's melted down. So we're gonna go ahead and next add in some fragrance, just a little bit of fragrance. We're using Nature's Garden Baby Bee Buttermilk type. This is just a really nice and mild fragrance and we're just using a little bit. Again, this is an oil-based fragrance. So we're just adding it into the turmeric oil and the bee pollen, ex um, bee pollen powder just to get that powder all mixed in and dispersed. So let me show you what that looks like. So we're just gonna take a stirring rod and mix in, see how it's a little bit clumpy down here. We're just gonna break up the clumps and get it very evenly dispersed into this oil. We're just working out the clumps. And you're just going to continue to do this until you don't see any more lumps of bee pollen powder. All right, and that should pretty much do it. Okay. 
And then we're going to go ahead and set this aside. And we're going to go ahead and melt down our Sindet melt and pour base and I'll bring you back for the next step. Alright, so everything is melted down and like I said, this has gone completely transparent. You can see right through it, but won't set up that way. It will set back up that opaque white. And then what we're going to do is go ahead and add in the bee pollen powder and the turmeric infused apricot kernel oil and give this a good stir. We're sitting at right around 150 degrees Fahrenheit. And this also contains a little bit of that fragrance oil as well. We're going to give that a good stir to combine. And as you can see, we're getting some nice color from that bee pollen powder and the turmeric. That'll look really nice. Uh, pale yellow when it's all set up and then I'm going to take the temperature we have one more ingredient to add in but I don't want my formula to be too hot when we add it in we're just going to wait a few minutes to get this down closer to 100 degrees we're going to be adding in a cool down ingredient of some bee pollen extract I thought this went really nicely with the bee pollen powder but I don't want to Add it in while this is still very hot so we'll give that a few minutes and I'll bring you back when we're ready to do that. Alright so our formula is sitting right around 130 degrees and I'm not going to wait any longer to add in my extract because you can see that this formula is already starting to set up a little bit around the edges of the glass and I want to make sure I have plenty of a warm material here to incorporate my bee pollen extract and get it to bind with the formula. And then we're going to give this a good stir to combine. Bee pollen extract is again wonderful for the skin. It's great for inflammation. Also packed full of vitamins like the bee pollen powder. Okay. And now we are ready to go ahead and pour into our mold. So I'm going to set it onto this food tray just so I can pick it up and move it around after it's poured in if I need to. Now I'm just going to go ahead and pour a little bit into each cavity. Those flowers might look like they're going to start to float around in this but they will eventually sink to the bottom. which is going to be the top of the cleansing bar. We're going to go ahead and allow these to set up. I'll bring you back when we're ready to unmold them. All right, so it's time to go ahead and pop these out of the mold. I did go ahead and set this in the freezer for about 45 minutes or so. So they are kind of cold right now and we'll have to give them time to set up to room temperature. But isn't that the most gorgeous color that you've ever seen? And there's the little speckles from the bee pollen powder, beautiful calendula petals. Now these are a little bit soft and the manufacturer's instructions do say that they will remain a little bit soft for about 24 hours. So give them time to set up completely. I just love the natural look of these bars. And 
I like the cute little size and shape of this circle mold. And I just think the bee pollen powder gives it such a nice little texture. And then this one didn't get all the way full, but there you go. Okay, I'm gonna bring you back for a lather demo. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a lather demo on the small piece here. So you're just gonna wet your hands and create, activate a lather. And right away I'm getting a really nice, bubbly, creamy, almost kind of butter-like lather. I really, really love this kind of decadent and luxurious type of feeling, skin feel. It has a wonderful skin feel and a beautiful slip. There's a little bit of texture from the bee pollen powder and it just feels super gentle. So this particular bar I'm gonna be using for my face and probably my body as well, but I designed it mostly for the face. And there you go guys, that's how you make a beautiful Sendet bar with a melt and pour base. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. Please leave me some comments and questions below. Share this video with a friend and subscribe to my channel. All right, everybody, catch you on the next video. Bye. Keep shining.